This is about the UN Security Council criticizes U.S. over Golan recognition. Now, the UN Security Council has a lot of pull around the world, and a lot of our allies, you know, are in league with them. What What do you think about the alliance with the UN, and does it pose a threat to Israel? And opposed to uh, what's going on here, I am not a big fan of kangaroo court di diplomacy, which is what the UN is. The bizarreness of the UN never ceases to amaze me, Germaine, where you could have a country of a few million people with virtually no army, no international trade, no commerce, no ability to affect anybody but their own citizens and they get the same one vote as the United States gets, who supports the majority of the UN, who hosts the UN, who is the biggest economy in the world, the biggest military in the world, the biggest donor in the world, on and on and on and on and on. That's what has run crazy at the UN. And so the non-aligned countries, combined with the Muslim bloc, controls every single vote in the United Nations. Every vote. Mm -hmm. So when before anything is being introduced, the votes are already counted, Jermaine, and it's the inmates running the asylum. No <laughs> joke. Which is why so many people are so fed up with the United Nations. Look, mm -hmm. we had a fantastic ambassador for a couple of years, Nikki Haley, and she used to stand up and say, hey, enough's enough. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. I mean, the Human Rights Council, which is supposed to protect human rights, would have Syria on it. Syria, the biggest mass murdering country since maybe China in the 50s. And they sit on the Human Rights Council. What does the Human Rights Council do? Unanimously condemns Israel, who doesn't kill anybody. Ridiculous. Who, who tells buildings in Gaza where the Hamas missiles are fired from, please evacuate. We don't want to hurt anybody, but we have to retaliate, so we're going to blow up an empty building. That's what Israel does. And they get condemned at UN organizations weekly. And so Nikki Haley led the, led the walkout of the Human Rights Council, and I think rightly so, Israel quit as well. And as far as I'm concerned, we can walk away from all of that craziness because we're putting up with crazy people who literally, and I mean this privately, don't believe what they have to say publicly. What's the point? That is, that blows my mind. It really does. You know, you would think that the UN would be actually for uh, peace, but it seems like as if like they are aligning themselves with terrorists in a sense. Not, you know? no, no, literally. Word yeah. for word, you're correct. <laughs> Absolutely, you're correct. Mm -hmm. 